We are going to learn. We are going to learn about opposite words. So first of all, what are opposite words? Opposite words are also referred as antonyms. Okay? And in Hindi, we have opposite words go over there. We don't show. Okay? Like you have to tell the oppose of the word. Okay? Now let's start with first word. That is. Big. Big. So, anyone knows what is the opposite word of big? First of all, what does big means? Big means bada. Okay? And what is the meaning of small? Small means chota. Okay, for example, this ball is big. And this is small. In comparison to this ball, this is small. So this is big and this is small. Okay? Now let us understand this with one more example. Okay? So I have two pencils here. Okay? This is big one. Okay? This pencil is big and this is small one. Okay? So, this is big and this is small. Very good. Now, the next word is fat. What is the meaning of fat? Anyone? Yes, fat means mota. Okay? And opposite word of fat is thin. Fat means mota, thin means patla. Okay? So, for example, I have a book here. Okay? And if two pictures are given, this is fat and this is thin. Fat means mota and thin means patla. Okay? So, I hope you all have understood the meaning of fat and thin. Fat means mota, thin means patla. Very good. Now, the next word which we are going to learn is more. Less. What is the meaning of more? More means ziyada. Okay? And less means thoda. Again, more means ziyada and less means thoda. So, for example, Okay, when we, when we will count these balls, these are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. 6 balls. And when we will count these balls, these are 1, 2, 3 balls. So which one is more? These are more and these are less. Okay? So more means ziyada and less means thoda. So now let us understand this with one more example. Okay? So I have some pins over here. Okay? And two pencils. Okay, so which one is more? Yes, I have more sketch pens in number and less in pencils. Okay, I have less number of pencils and more number of sketch pens. So this is more and this is less. More means ziyada. More means ziyada and less means thora. Okay, now let's move on to the next word that is Hot means garam and cold means 
theta. Okay, for example, T is hot, okay, garam, cold and cold is, example of cold is ice cream. Okay, when we drink tea, it's hot, right? I mean, garam feel with that. So, it's hot. And when we eat an ice cream, that is cold. We feel cold. Thinda feel kar hai, so it is cold. So, hot means garam. And cold means thanda. Okay? Example of hot is tea, coffee, anything that feels hot. An example of cold is an ice cream, cold drink, anything that feels cold. Okay? We also use hot and cold for weather also. Okay? Like it is very hot today. Aaj hot garam hai. Okay? When we feel hot, we say it is very hot today for weather. Okay? And when we feel cold, garam hai thanda lag hai. So we say it's very cold today. Okay? Aaj hot thanda hai. So we also use hot and cold for weather and for object also. Okay? Objects that are hot and cold or things which we can eat. So I hope you all have understood the topic of hot and hot and cold. Now let's move on to the next word that is full and the opposite word for full is empty. So what is the meaning of full and empty? Full means Bhara hua and empty means khali. Okay. For example, this box is full with sketch pens. Okay. I have filled it with sketch pens. So, this box is full with sketch pens. And if I remove all sketch pens from this, now this box is empty. Okay. It has nothing in it. So, it is empty. So, full means bhara hua. If I put sketch pens into this, now this is full and if I take it out, it is empty. Okay? So, full means bhara hua and empty means khal. Okay? I hope you all have understood topic of opposite words. Okay? Revise it. I will see you in the next class. Till then, bye-bye. Take care.